In episode 10 of Re-Monster, Ogoro and his companions arrive at a village around noon, greeted with a mix of surprise and fear due to Ogoro's ogre appearance. However, Rubilia, the princess, quickly asserts her authority and demands respect for them. The group is then welcomed to stay at the mayor's manor. Later, they visit a huge waterfall, a notable village landmark, and enjoy the hot springs. That evening, they join the villagers in a celebration, which includes a drinking contest. Ogoro, who never gets drunk, easily wins the contest. The following day, the group sets out for the Cluster Mountains. During their journey, they discover that the sisters are pregnant with Ogoro's children and are in critical condition. To help them maintain their strength, Ogoro suggests they eat his flesh, which they reluctantly do. Due to the urgency of the situation, they find a cave inhabited by quad arm bears, which they deal with while preparing beds for the sisters. Ogoro successfully delivers the children, a girl and a boy, both with one horn. Gobji informs Ogoro that the children might be mixed blood ogres, a special kind of race feared and hated by both humans and demi-humans. Despite this, Ogoro decides to raise them with love and care, naming the older sister's girl Akko and the younger sister's son Argento. While exploring later, Ogoro encounters a white stag, a boss-class giant deer. Although he has only a 30% chance of winning, he decides to spare it and share its abilities with his children. The deer removes its antlers and quickly runs away. Subsequently, Ogoro comes across a battle between humans, beastmen, and Fomorians. Observing their leader, Luke, Ogoro offers to treat their wounds in exchange for Baylor's carcass. Luke agrees, and Ogoro leaves with Baylor's remains. Back at the cave, Ogoro's children show remarkable growth after consuming the white stag's antlers. Ogoro himself consumes the antlers, experiencing a major increase in strength and gaining new abilities, including a new job, Sacred Beast Eater. However, he realizes that he was mistaken about the white stag and that he still has much to learn. That night, while sleeping, signs appear in Ogoro's mind, indicating that he has reached evolutionary advance and can evolve into an apostle lord. He obtains the true name, Yatendoji, along with five special abilities, although two of them remain locked. He also gains the special ability Fate Plunder, granting him dominion over the fates of his subordinates. Subordinates selected for the title's eight demon generals and consort of something will be granted evolutionary advance. Some words glitch during the ability and evolution announcement, hinting at future revelations and leaving a mystery. Upon waking, Dami and Rebilia notice that Ogoro has shrunk, and he greets them. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.